Hello and welcome back to Link's Awakening Switch. We're gonna go over to this statue. To do that, we need to go around here. Mm, I might have to go up here. Now that we're over here, we can use our hook shot. The hooky over here. Now we don't use the powder for this guy. And stun him with our hook shot. You put the missing scale in the mermaid's statue. Oh, she moves! You, what the heck? Are there invisible monsters in here? Oh, let's get the magnifying glass so we can see the invisible monsters. This is the precursor, I think, to the Lens of Truth. Because it pretty much does the same thing as the Lens of Truth. You can see invisible things. And now if we go back here, we can see... Oh, there was invisible things down here that we couldn't see. Do I have to kill him with this thing? I guess so. That's interesting. An enemy that has to be sl swing attacked. Alright, now let's get back over here. Ah! Now that we have the magnifying glass, there's a few things we can do. Obviously that's the end of our side quests. Beetles are killing us. I don't want to kill that rabbit. Oh, there's another rabbit. Look, the broom lady. Yahoo! A new broom, superb! Why does that make her want to go to the animal village? Anyway, now this this place is not empty. Because now we can go talk to this man. Hey, you can see me. You must have a magnifying glass. I'm not a troublemaker, I just want to live in peace. I'll give you this if you promise to keep your mouth shut. We got a shell! So the point of this episode... A promise is a promise, okay? Hey, you should head out to the cave at Ternobyl Shores. Use the magnifying glass there and you'll find something else like me. The point of this episode is going to be collecting stuff. Just like the episode before, <laughs> Catfish's Mall. We're gonna collect a bunch of seashells, heart pieces. We're gonna finish this trading side quest. Before we start the next dungeon. And just like last time, I have a list of things we're gonna do. I checked the video though before, so I know that it's actually recording video. I can see that it's recording my voice and the audio of the game, so I'm not going to be surprised, hopefully. The footage. Now, this Moblin is invisible if you don't have the magnifying glass, so let's talk to him. I found a good item wash up on the beach. I'll trade it to you for what you have in your X or Y buttons. Uh. Oh, so he's gonna trade us what we have. I guess we could trade this since we can just buy a new one. Let me make sure I don't give away the hook shot. Okay, let's do it. If you want the item you traded me back again, come back. You got the boomerang in exchange for your item you had. Why can't it tell me which item it was? Now we have a boomerang. We can stun enemies and junk. But let's go buy back our shovel.
Oh no! Not available. Guess we'll buy this. We don't have enough rubies. Dang it. That's an expensive block. I feel like they don't come until you've placed the other ones down. Maybe I didn't place the other ones down. And that's why I didn't show up. I don't know if that was accurate enough. Sometimes you have to be super accurate and sometimes it doesn't matter that bad. Hopefully it doesn't pop out like normal. Ooh, we got a blooper! Or, is that a blooper? No, blooper is the squids. Cheap, cheap. Got a cheap, cheap figure. Claimer cannot actually fly. There we go. Place the cheap, cheap figure here. Still have no idea what this does. Collect them all. Next item. Tell me. I guess I ate it. I thought it was gonna tell me every time I picked an apple up what an apple was. I guess it was just because one was green and one was not. Oh, I don't want that. Ah, oh, I didn't see that that was a pit. All right, so we've been in this cave before, but we couldn't do anything because we did not have the hook shot. What we need to do here, get a bomb. Throw it over here. Oh, that's too far away. No, it doesn't. And we can come back the other way. And hook shot over. And now we have ourselves another heart pee. Now we can blow the whistle. Or the ocarina, whatever. Go here. And in this cave, we can use hookshot again to get a heart pee. We got a heart piece. Oh, we got another heart container too. Now we can do this too, because we have the hookshot. A lot of hookshot things to do. Obviously, this is the episode after we got the hookshot, so we need to do things with our hookshot that we couldn't do before. We got a heart! Now, I'm gonna do some damp ice stuff and cut to when I get the heart piece. Hey there, company's always welcome. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. Oh, that's quite the tale.
Got some new chambers, slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. Watching you down there gives me an idea for a new challenge that's ready whenever you want. Alright, it turns out that it's going to make me fight the Gomas in this chamber dungeon, and we didn't do this in the regular dungeon, so I think I'm going to show it. Pretty much the same as in the first Zelda game. This is in the first Zelda, where you uh, try to make them open their eyes and then you go shoot. Getting in my way. How much did it take? I don't want an arrow. Gosh, how many freaking arrows does it take? I'm gonna run out of arrows. This is ridiculous. Let's hit him with my sword. I even have enough now to put this up. I have two left, so hopefully he dies in two hits. One left and I missed. Now what do I do? There's no way for me to win! Am I stuck? I guess I can hit him with a hook shot. Good. That was dumb. What a waste. Why didn't if I would have known you could hit him with a hook shot, I would have done that instead of wasting all my arrows. I didn't even need to do this. Just some rupees, and it's not even good rupees. In the real dungeon, it was blue rupees. Now it's green rupees. Those. All right, I'll meet you outside with Dompey when I beat the boss. What a show! There were times I'd swear you had one foot in the grave. A thrill like that deserves something for my collection in exchange. You got a heart piece. You no know long it took me to get through this. In like an hour. All right, here we are at the bridge of Kinalit Castle. We're gonna use our hook shot to get across these five holes that are over here. Go in this cave. And there's a seashell in here. Woohoo! 
We have two more left to get. Alright, there's a cave above here. Hook shot here. Hook shot here. There's a heart piece. This is to the mini game, the River Rapids ride, where we can get a bunch of stuff. And how well we do. You there, want to go on a really raft ride for 100 rupees? Yes. There are two ways to ride the rapids. With the rapid ride, your goal is to pick up as many items as you can. The other way is the rapids race, where you try to get to the end as fast as you can. Which course will you settle for today? We're going to do the raid first, because we can get... I think we can get two stuffs. I don't know if we can get both of them in time. We'll try. Wow, this moves slow as farts. There's a heart piece there, but we couldn't get it. Oh no, do I need a shovel? How do I buy a new shovel? If I don't have a shovel, I can't get that. I don't have a shovel. How do I get a new shovel? Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Why didn't they start me over? Why am I stuck here? Oh, we got a piece of heart. Kidding me? This is highway robbery. I need those rupees to play the stupid game. This is freaking dumb. Should never have got the boomerang. Oh, so I bought it back. So he took it for no reason. That is so stupid. Oh my god. I thought I had to trade back the boomerang to get back the shovel. I could have bought it back immediately after I... So stupid. I don't understand why this guy can't be next to the raft. Why does he have to be in his house? We only have six times we can try this, because we had to buy our shovel back for 300 rupees from that stupid moblin. <sighs> We're going to do the rapids raid, because I have to get that shell first. And hopefully we can do the other races very quickly. I wonder if you get under... well... So if you do it under 40 seconds, you get a seashell. If you do it under 35 seconds, you get a heart piece. If you do it under 30 seconds, you get a tile for the stupid dungeon. I don't care about that. If you do it under 30 seconds, you get a chamber dungeon piece. So if I do it under 30 seconds the first time, do I get... All of them? We got a secret seashell! Yay! One more and we can buy our sword! Alright, let's try this dumb race.
We definitely didn't do it. Jeez Louise, how do you think this was... We didn't even get 40 seconds, dude. STUPID! Well, I guess we get a heart piece no matter what. A bit under 40 seconds in the guide, but I think it's just eat at one. Alright. Well, let me see how you do it fast. Alright, so I watched the guy do it. He did it real good. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. I keep forgetting that you can um, hook shot to the trees, though. Not just the branches. I hope we don't need to grind rupees for this. I need to get that dang she shell. I'm not even close! Wow, I suck! Did it in under 30 seconds, so let's see if he gives us both prizes. Really? Didn't give me a seashell? Are you kidding me? He was supposed to give me a seashell if I got under 35. And I got under 30 and it only gives me a chamber dungeon? care about the dang chamber dungeon. I could have wasted one second and got the seashell. This is so dumb. Well, at least I got my money back, so I'm not wasting more rupees. Yay. That's what we came for. We get two rewards. What is the other one? Chamber stone. Who cares? This is the worst part of this game. Whoa. That's cool. You got the Coalent Sword, you should put your name on it right away. Well, you didn't really change the sword, you just powered it up. My name's already on it. Eh. Now it shoots lasers. Alright, so the last thing we're gonna do in this episode is get the key. The next dungeon, and then we'll meet ya 
back at the dungeon in the next episode. We can actually kill these guys now. We have the boomerang that actually kills them. Also, the bone arrow kills them too, but he didn't need to use that. Guardian Acorn, I think. Oh no! Crazy man. Shaking in his boots. And there it is. The Lucky Charms key. Now we can get that dang leprechaun to give us his cereal. There is a picture carved on the wall, but you can't see it because it's too dark in here. Finder, the Isle of Colent is but an illusion. Human monster, see sky, a scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer and Coalint will vanish much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? So yeah, obviously it's an illusion. Dreaming, because he got shipwrecked. So you have read the relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the windfish. Trust your feelings. Someday you will discover the answer. Go in this cave. I hate these fish. They're so annoying. I hate that you they randomly come out. How am I supposed to get them? Where is it? 
keyhole. And now, next episode, we will go inside of the face dungeon. The face shrine? We'll see you then. Bye-bye.